transition to uh, Halloween ends. Halloween. Uh, Halloween. Where he up. <laughs> <laughs> Calling me out? Calling me yeah, out, bro. Damn. Oh, wow. Jake's mean. I'm, Jake's mean. In all He's fairness. Jake's mean. I, I, I'm a meanie. Yeah, I'm, I'm a real bully on the internet here. He's a poop face. <laughs> You're oh, a piss God. baby. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, children. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> he did it, not me. <laughs> I don't want it. But Jake's Halloween being ends. mean. Okay, all right. We're uh, Halloween we're, ends. We're uh, <laughs> we're all uh, right. So let me ask you guys this, and we we touched upon it last week a little bit. But what I mean for for Lori for Lori Strode, I mean the to me, you know, for my fandom, the final girl. Like she's just she's just that cool. Do we think that she, she's already said people are going to be pissed? Okay, so we know that that's been out in the news. She said people are going to be pissed off with the ending of this movie. What do you guys think that means? If you were to take a guess, what do you think she means by that? Dude, okay. Did you see the picture that Andy Andy Manichak posted today? Oh no, I no, didn't. no. So she posts a picture with um. I want to say Laurie Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis. She posts a picture of them together on set. They're both wearing shirts that say final girls on it. So uh, that, that makes me like theorize a lot with that because like there's now I have this feeling <laughs> that like both of them could die. What? <laughs> Look at Blanca Blanca's comment. <laughs> Laurie and Michael shake. Oh, hold it. That would be fucking great. That would be so good. <laughs> oh no. Oh, God. Michael's, God. Michael's first words is I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like my bad my my, bad. My, uh, my, my b my b that's that's my bad. well not you if know? you like, count the rob zombie movies you're right you're right Die. Die. <laughs> it's anyway, so out ahead. of nowhere and that's, that's right? the second one right yeah it's the end yeah of the second one. yeah the Dude. one we will not talk about <laughs> 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 Bro, could you, oh, could you imagine man. if Halloween three happens with Rob Zombie? What the what the fuck would have happened oh, in that movie? God, man, <laughs> Michael so would have been an alien from planet Mars, and <laughs> right, dude. Like if they kill Laurie Strode, though, that's so weird, right. man. Why would they do it that? Would. Like, dude, I don't. We hated that when they did it in Resurrection. We're not gonna like yeah. it now. Don't don't right. kill Laurie Strode, man. That's what I say. But I, I'm also worried that that's the case. <laughs> I, I think that it, I think that is what's going to happen. I mean, I talked about it here. <clears throat> I mm. just think they're they're sort of alluding to it heavily. I mean, like Jamie said, you know, people are going to hate this. You know, she mm. said that this is the last <laughs> film she's ever going to do, and that's it. So I definitely I I just think the way that they have established her character, mm. they are sort of leading that into her meeting her end you know and and mm -hmm. hopefully they don't go that route but the thing is is that like yeah it might piss people off but who cares it's the last movie jamie's ever gonna do you know so like why does she care you know it, it's just like i don't know it, it's just i think it comes down to what she wants too i think if jamie right. lee curtis says you know like hey i want laurie to have a happy ending but she's even kind of alluded to the idea of laurie not yeah. going that route that that's not her right. character i believe there was even yeah. an interview where she said that like that's not what laurie's fate should always be like you know like and so i i don't know i just i think all signs and arrows are pointing to laurie dying in some capacity in this film whether it's you yeah. know to take down michael to you know maybe set up the blow so allison can do it like whatever yeah. the case may be i think they're kind of setting it up to be that case yeah. and I, I i just i think that that's the route they're very likely going to go um yeah it's execution i think execution is everything i mean the big issue the the one issue most people have is resurrection and that's because you know of how she Jeez. died oh and, man you know and, and that was so be, damn ridiculous yeah, and how yeah. quickly she died you know so yeah. i think i think if they give her a proper death i think I think it could go. It's execution. I mean, that's that's the big thing yeah. in films. Period. Yeah. What do you what do you, I, what do you think? I definitely think it's leaning towards her dying as well. And and like you said too, Jake. I, I don't want that. I mean, obviously because of my affinity for the character, but in this current mythology, it's it's definitely going down that road. I mean, she even said it in Halloween Kills. You know, um, you know, let me 
let me be killed as I'm killing him or something like that. Yeah, so. You know, he, he has now, he is now ascended and blah, blah, blah. And even though, you know, they talk about, well, he wasn't coming for you. It was never about you, but she still sees it as her versus him. You know what I mean? She still takes that guilt, even though Frank was like, no, it was my fault. Cause I could have stopped him back in 78. So it definitely looks like that's, what's going to happen. Um, and I think that it's it's got to be her helping Allison, saving Allison, or something of that sort. A Allison's got to be involved with it one way or the other because she just has to be because her character arc has moved to that point. You know, each why, movie. Why would they set up her character otherwise? You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I mean, every movie she's you know gotten stronger. She's gotten more involved in the the michael lore the boogeyman lore and so forth and i think and i think she's a hell of a character i like andy medichek i think she's a great actress and i think the character is has been a good character to see so she's going to be involved and i think that's how laurie unfortunately laurie stewart's going to die so and it's going to be sad <laughs> yeah it's gonna be sad man i mean if she ends up killing michael while she dies and we get an, a definitive michael myers death on screen you know mm. okay like I'll take it. I'm not gonna be happy mm -hmm. about it, but I'll take it. You know. <laughs> now, do you really, mean know. do you mean that at the end of this movie, even though it's called Halloween Ends, are you saying that you would rather there be some type of question to Michael's death? Is that what you're saying? We have done that so many times. In right. fact, we have never technically had a definitive death for Michael Myers. I mean, you could count Rob Zombie's second Halloween, but like. Like we were just mm -hmm. talking about, Rob Zombie had plans for a third film, so like that wasn't mm -hmm. really a death for Michael Myers. Let's mm -hmm. let's let's just do that one time, <laughs> and let's do that in the film that's called Halloween Ends. Halloween you know Ends. what I mean? Yes. Yep. Doesn't that make? Yeah. Isn't that so fitting? Isn't that poetic? I say yes. Absolutely. Let's let's kill Michael yeah. for the first time. There we go. Cool. Well, what happens yeah. next? Now, the only thing that goes against that is Mustafa Akkad is so against that. He is, does not want to kill Michael, wants to keep him alive. His He might have a, might have had a change of heart in the past 40 years, though. I don't know. Who knows? Well, here's, he, my, well, here's he, my theme. Oh, go ahead. What were you going to say? Well, he's he's passed away. So now it's... Right, but would uh, that be dishonoring right. his legacy if you right, kill right, Michael? Yeah. That's what, I'm, that's what well, I mean. Because what's, yeah. what's his son's name that's still Malik? part of this? Malik. Malik. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. I yeah. could be pronouncing it, that wrong. But yeah, me too. Um, and you, but you're right though. It might've been something that he kind of, you know, passed on down and like, said, Hey, yeah. you don't forget, don't kill yeah. Michael. Cause like, what if radio <laughs> silence kills Sidney Prescott? You know what I mean? That's like right. a middle finger to, <laughs> to Wes Craven. That's how I feel about right? that. At least I, yeah. that's kind of, is that the same thing here yeah. though? Is the question right. I, I don't, and I don't know. I don't know. Like if they got his son's blessing, maybe I don't hey, know. Here's my, here's my thing with that though. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Halloween has been around so long and there have mm -hmm. been so many different branches and Time timelines lines. and all this stuff. I don't think it's a big deal to have one timeline where he dies because right. this isn't going to be the last yeah. film. They're going right. to make, they're going to make another Halloween and probably well, a year even or two. Said that. Yeah, oh, they yeah. ever said they're making you know more I mean? movies after yeah, this. So, yeah. So that's the thing. It's not like this is going to be the be all end all. It's just, why not let this be, the you know the the tri the eighteen trilogy and this is that branch of timeline and this is how Michael dies in this one and you know mm -hmm. whatever and then you know now you start a new timeline you know and and a new Michael and just maybe mm -hmm. tell a whole new fresh story without Laurie and all that stuff like you know or completely reboot the franchise whatever the case may be because yeah. this isn't going to be it for Halloween I mean and right. and <laughs> the, it's we have no continuity anywhere in this franchise so it's like yeah. what's the difference if you you I, I just think i don't think they titled titled it halloween ends just randomly i just don't mm -hmm. think they were like what should we call this movie halloween ends because it's the end of the trilogy like no i think that right. it has some i mean halloween kills was yeah. halloween kills because it's what it was it was michael running around just yeah. killing people i think there is yep, some that's all it was nothing else yeah, that is all it was. <laughs> I think, that it was, I think there is some significance to the title. I think the title is deliberate. And and I and no, that doesn't mean it's the end of Michael, but I think it's going to be the end of somebody. I definitely think Allison is being set up to be that transition character. She's going to be the passing of the torch character. And will they use her as the face going forward? You know, which then if that's the case, you can't kill Michael. 
you know, it's like because if she's gonna kind of continue on, well, that's what maybe... I was that's what I was thinking too. Is if they yeah. want to keep going with her, then ne- and see that's the problem with all these multiple timelines because then you you get caught in certain lanes and you exactly. only have a certain amount of room to move with. But to me, when 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 Jamie Lee Curtis said people are going to be pissed, the way I took it would have been that she's gonna die, but Michael doesn't. That's exactly how I took it too. You know, I, like, I'd be and, pissed. I'd be and, pissed if that was the case. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, yeah. To me, I'd be pissed too because if she dies, he's got to die. You know, as yeah. a fan yeah. of of Laurie Strode. But w- the way she said it, I was just thinking, man, she's gonna die, and she's gonna die trying to kill Michael, and he doesn't. Or maybe it's left up in the air, and the next thing you know. Uh, you know, if, if they're doing this radio tower thing, you know, he falls from the radio tower or something like that, and they can't find his body or, or something wacky like oh, that. I think God. that would piss off people. You yeah. know, it would for me as a fan, I wouldn't like that. I think that's the right. I think I really do. I think like as soon as I heard all that, I was like, she's gonna die. Like that's what yes. they're gonna do. I mean, yeah. And I, I don't know. It just, I think it. I think the real question comes down to, do they want to continue this story with Allison or not? Do they Mm -hmm. want to start the new thing? Because if they want to really transition Allison into future installments and kind of make her the face of Halloween, like the new Laurie Strode, then, then yeah, then you have to kill Laurie and you have to keep Michael alive. But if they, if they don't, and this is going to be the end of this timeline, you know, the end of this branch, then, then yeah, then I think you could, you could kill Michael and let it go. I, I, that's, that's the problem. The, The big thing is like, Who's gonna have the balls to finally kill Michael? I think is the thing, you know. Right. Like who's gonna who's gonna finally say like no? We need to we need to make this happen. You know. I mean they they've tried to do it. I mean all the way in H two O, they tried to yeah. do it. You know. And then and, and, I mean it literally ended with Michael getting his head chopped off, and then it went to credits. Like you know. Right. Like, so like it was like oh he finally died, and then and right. that's a great ending to me. It was a great ending. Too. It really and the was. resurrection just goes and ugh, oh man, just does it, this it, to it, you know? It's yeah, like, oh, it just geez, yeah. Man. I mean, yeah. when she when she swiped at him, and and okay, again, it's all credit, so much credit, I should say, to Jamie Lee Curtis because when she did it, or first that look on her face, almost like she was hesitating, and then she was kind of like, huh, and then swiped it, and the music came on, and you saw his head roll. I was like, yeah, holy shit. He's dead, they you know, and like, wow. Well, the you know? problem is, too, is that, like, when it came to Resurrection, I mean, besides the movie just being terrible, but even the mm-hmm. whole explanation on why Michael didn't die made zero sense. <laughs> exactly. Like, we watched Michael be in the van. Uh, we watched it all yeah. unfold. We watched Oh, the but van guess what? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> we were wrong. They got she what, what was it like? They the car and and then yeah. and, and it was somebody it's like a security guard. guard or something, right? Yeah, and they just yeah. Yeah. Michael put his mask on him, like what? Yeah, and he no. and he hit him in the throat so he <laughs> yeah. couldn't talk. He's like, you know what? I can still move around. It was and like, be yeah. like, no, no, it's not me. Like... Hey, like... <laughs> yeah, and right? they tried to make it sound like the reason he was Michael Myers out would and never stuff. do this. Like if you did this, you'd be good. You'd be fine. Michael would never do that. Yeah. <laughs> right? I think the freaking best. Right, right. Yeah, just whatever you're saying, you know, like it's not a surprise. Uh, <laughs> surprise, Sydney. <Sydney. laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, yeah. Really want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Do you think okay. Michael will actually say something in this film? I hope not. I hope not. I kind of hope not to, but like, dude, that's the, the Halloween 2018. Say something, Michael, say something. Cut the yeah. title card, dude. Dun, 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 and like, I've been like, yeah, right, right. Like I was saying earlier too, is like they they've been setting up a lot of weird things in this franchise for what I'm not yeah. sure. Like the radio tower thing is clearly something very significant and poignant. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. The very first thing we saw was Aaron yelling at Michael saying, say something. Mm-hmm. Is he going to say something? I don't know. I, I, like, I hope not. If he does, it better just be one word or something really fucking dumb or something not fucking dumb. I mean, (laughs) yeah, it it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense to me. They're, they're going, they're, they're so, I, my problem with this, this two films, I was gonna say trilogy, but we're not at the trilogy yet. Is that in some cases they're so all over the place, like in some things in their own story, just don't add up. 
and it, we've talked about some of the things too, like, you know, like the supernatural element of Michael, you know, I mean, they have continuously said that he's only a man, that he's just this and that. But then there's moments where they completely sort of retcon that and say like, no, it's not the case. Like, it's just, and like the talking thing, it's like, are they going to go that route? Like, what is, the, it's like they set up these things and then later on they like, almost like they forget that they set those up. Right. <laughs> or like they just try to change it or whatever like and that's that's my problem is there's there's moments throughout these films so far that just don't have real continuity and and that concerns me because it's like you know like when it comes to halloween ends like are are they gonna retcon some of the stuff that they already did and just kind of go a different direction like what you know what i mean like i it's just i don't know it just and that that's my concern I, I'm, mm. I'm looking forward to halloween ends I, I hope it gets the film, you know, the franchise back on track. I know you guys loved Halloween Kills. I didn't. But I, I just think I, I have hope that this will be a good conclusion to the trilogy. Mm. But at the same time, I have my concerns that it's going to just, it's just going to fuck it up, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to, 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 for lack of a better word. I, I really do. Really? I, that, I, I, I really <sighs> can see them doing it. I, I really can't. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them. I, I don't. I don't think they will, yeah. but they're already, I mean, the fact that we're already talking about concerns that could very well happen and how it would ruin the film for us is an issue. You know what I mean? Like, well, and they're very believable things. This isn't just fan theories well, that we pull well, out of our behinds. Like this. Well, is, my concern about Laurie dying or not, that's strictly just me fanboying for Laurie Strode and Jamie Lee Curtis. Now, if I think about it realistically, you know, that's what she's been living for is is to kill Michael, you know, in, in in this story. So her killing him or dying to try, it it makes sense and it's been set up. So, you know, story-wise it works just as a fan for me. That's just like, "Oh, man, I don't want her to be dead." You know, I didn't want Dewey to be dead either. But in the story, they had a reasoning for it. I didn't agree with the reasoning, but that's that's what it was. So, that's my only concern. I think I think the movie's going to be good. I really do. I have faith in this in this franchise, in the filmmakers, David Gordon Green and all everyone else. And I mean, again, it's a Halloween film. You know, it does not. I mean, granted, Halloween Kills really had some nice layers that they were trying to shoot for. And it didn't work for every person. I know it didn't work for you, Fate. But I think that at the end of the day, they said this one is going to be a much more simple movie, a much more, you know, bottleneck type of movie. And I think that's great. I think that's great because you keep it simple and you let your, your characters do what they need to do. These characters that we've built up like an Allison. Um, but I think it's going to be good. I really, really do. I just, but, I just have you know. concerns. Cause even, even the four year gap, mm -hmm. I think is silly. Like, uh, because you just had Michael, interesting think to about, me, but think about it. You just had Michael pillage through this town. And do all this stuff, <laughs> and AJ Fate and I, but and pillage through this town. I, I do it. I fly, like, hey. and and what? And and then you're just gonna have four years in between, like, what? Dude, Michael like, okay, like I was saying though, Michael Myers in the sewer eating rats. Come on, that's yes, so I, cool. I man. do think that that's a good idea, but it's like, <laughs> yeah. but it's like, no, like, it's just th th there needs to be a reasonable explanation and i don't know if we're going to get that i could see them giving us some stupid like i could easily see them just saying that michael got captured by the cops he went back to jail and he sat there for you tell me you tell me that that's not a likely scenario because it happens in every single movie that's like, why they won't do it that's what, exactly why they won't yeah. do it but that's what because I'm saying. we've so seen that else, so many what times. else are they going to do like are Listen, they really going to do the sewer like Michael living at this radio tower for four years. Nobody go. Nobody ever went to the radio <laughs> tower. No one ever. How far is this radio tower? Like, let's say, let's say he was living in. Let's say he did go into the sewers. Like there, are, mm. there are city workers and all kinds of stuff that go into those sewers. That, and you think that, a you city know, worker could take down Michael Myers? No, but I'm saying, but somebody <laughs> would know that that city worker was killed. You know what I mean? Like in a four-year period, somebody and would Michael know. Myers eats like dogs and shit. I wouldn't put it past him <laughs> yeah. to eat a person. Think, you know? I just think right? that as much as they could, they could make a great film. I think that they could easily just ruin it. You know? I mean, they. I could. What if they kill Laurie halfway into the movie? 
you know, because they won't they really, do that. They for sure. You know, if know Lori's, that, if, if no, 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 because here's the they thing, got, dude. They're yeah, they're fans ahead. of the franchise. They have seen yeah. all the movies. They have studied these things. There's references to literally every other Halloween movies just crammed yeah. into these two movies. They exactly. they know what the, I think they know what they're doing story wise to do something mm -hmm. different from the past. The one thing they could mess up though is making the ending something dark just to make it dark. Like for example, let's right. like, what if the ending, and this is something I've thought about and I was actually gonna make a whole video on it tomorrow. That's a really good point too. Um, if they take the dark route, they could have a scene where it's Laurie Strode and she's dying on the ground, which I, God forbid this happens, but right. Michael Myers is, is about to kill her. And she literally says like, say something like and dying and then michael oh, doesn't say anything no. kills her and just walks out into the distance as the halloween yeah. music plays and that's the that's the fucking ending i i no. i don't put it past these filmmakers that's how i think they'll they could possibly ruin it quotation marks i don't even yeah. think that would ruin it for me personally which because mm -hmm. i i just i love dark shit man like dark endings is always interesting to me just to see like the villain win that's always yes. interesting to me i'm, I'm always mm -hmm. curious in seeing the, uh, movies like that because so mm -hmm. many filmmakers are horrified to do something like that right but if they go that route, fans will, will not be happy. That would genuinely make people angry. But another mm -hmm. thing that would make people angry is just Laurie Strode dying in general. I think the most likely situation here is we get Laurie Strode having a poetic death, killing Michael Myers, but then bleeding out ultimately. Because like, at that point, she has done what she has been living to do her whole life. Right. She trained her daughter yep. to literally defend against just Michael Myers. Exactly. I mean, she spent years of her life doing that. So if she an died obsession. in that way, it would be poetic. It would make sense. It would be upsetting, but I could see it happening. Um, um, Blucka Blucka said something too, a uh, comment before that, where he said, why did Michael stop killing people? Like, that's another thing too, like that they need to explain. Because again, there's a four-year gap. And it's not like this, it's not like Halloween Kills had a conclusive ending where we, you know, we, we, they established everything. Like, so it's like, and, and if Lori did bulldoze his house, like what, do they think he's dead? Do they, maybe she bulldozed the house with him inside of it and, and they think it's But like, they never found so, a body. So they yeah, exactly. Or something like that. Right. Like, I'm um, saying like. There, it's if this was if this was a direct continuation from Halloween Kills, like the same night or something like that, mm -hmm. I think that it would be perfect because it, you easily have the transition story. But you're talking a four a lot can happen in four years. Oh, true. Okay, okay. Take take this for for instance though. Lori bulldozed his house. What is Michael trying to do throughout the entire runtime of Halloween Kills? Get home. He wants yeah, to get home. Right. He wants to go to his room. He wants to look at himself in the in the window. He wants to see his room. That's all he wants to do. What what happens now to Michael Myers when Laurie Strode bulldozes his house? What does he do? He's not after Laurie. I don't even think he's right. a spiteful guy. Like, I know that's yeah. that's crazy. That's out there because he kills crazy. everyone he comes in front of. I don't think he's spiteful. I genuinely think that he's just well, trying to get to out of his way to kill home. people in every single movie. No, like, no, he doesn't. No, 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 where he's walking there's people all there's like 80 million people on the streets going trick-or-treating he's just kind of looking and he looks around and then he's just like house where that lady was and the baby and yes, she kills and he lady. goes into he the house and he murders out. innocent people for right no why doesn't he kill those but, two but kids he, he just walked into though and he, and, and he didn't kill the doctor and the nurse <laughs> it, but what i'm saying is is that and carpenter has always said this he's just evil there's no rhyme or reason he's just like you know, if you're in his path, you're probably gonna die. If if I'm if he's walking straight and you're in his path, you're gonna die. There could be someone right here. He may not even deal with them. He may not even acknowledge them. You know, and to me, that scene in twenty you guys know the scene I'm talking about yeah. in twenty eighteen. Yeah. I love that scene because I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, who's gonna catch it? And like there and there were dozens of people all around, and he only killed a couple of people and in my mind what made it scary and of course you know i'm a fan of the franchise but in my mind i kept thinking to myself wow that person was so lucky or this person was so lucky it's why random. was that person so un yes that's was what's random. scary about it you don't yes. you don't know who his target is you yes. don't know what his ultimate goal is right why would michael okay yeah. if, if, if there's that's the point Michaels, that's the point why would you he don't just know say, okay i'm go okay i'm just going to just go into the wood like you know, like, why yes. wouldn't he go find a new house or go do something? I mean, because that looks at has like no sentimental value to him. The only thing he that has sentimental does value because to he him. cared about his home. 
That's what I'm he, saying. The only thing that yeah, has the sentimental he value in. to sentimental value to him is the house he grew up in. So what does he do now that his house no longer exists? He goes into hiding because like he's not he's a little stupid, but he's not stupid enough to like not be aware of authorities and know that he could go right. back to prison. Like I don't think he wants to go back to prison. You know what I mean? He right. wants to right. be out and ki- out but and about killing people. Like, so tell me, like there's there's no there wouldn't be like there would be a manhunt for him. Like there would be all kind like. What I'm saying is that if this was a direct continuation, like Halloween kills mm-hmm. ends, boom, we get, you know, uh, what's your name dies. And then, uh, and then you go right into Halloween ends. Yeah. Like that makes perfect sense. You know, Michael gets to the house. Lori knows that he's in the house. Boom. I'm going to go bulldoze that, you know, effing thing. Boom. Bulldozes right. it. Michael's out and about. So, you know, whatever. Now, it, now they could take him down. Maybe he goes, runs to this tower uh, because he's yeah. trying to find somewhere to go. Boom, 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 boom. But you don't. You have a four-year gap. Like, that's you can't just pick up so, four years and just continue the story. Here's like, one more thing about Michael Myers, though, that you're not considering. He also spent the majority of his life in prison and never did anything about it. He yes, doesn't really I, care. Yes, like, he just stood so, there. It exactly. didn't matter to him. Yeah. He didn't yes, speak a word. He, he didn't yes, care. He so, doesn't mm-hmm. care. But the town does. And that's so what let, they established in kills. You like the town just said, "Oh, well, he's out of there. Good, thank God." Let's Another go. thing they no, established the in kills point. is that a shit ton of people can't kill Michael Myers. So if Michael just kind of wandered into the sewer <laughs> and just never left, he wouldn't leave. He would have no reason to leave. He really does not care. The only reason he, I think he even goes to his house is because he's like, "Hey, I'm in Haddonfield. Cool, <laughs> I'll go kill a bunch of random people and go back to my go back to my room." You know, he's not thinking logic. I don't even think he's thinking that all that logically. I think, honest to God, for whatever reason, he just gets lured into a a sewer drain and he's kind of or somewhere like the radio tower, like an, a, a fucking outhouse. I don't know. And he's just kind of hanging out somewhere. And then, like maybe when a few people come and find him, he just kills him. You know. And maybe yeah. that could be the reason why after four years, he just randomly shows up again. What if like, someone find like, what if some teenagers find him in a storm drain, David Gordon green and in, in both of those movies have all these side, random side characters that you like just meet and you kind of start to like them and then right. they get killed. That, that mm-hmm. happens all the time. What if we mm-hmm. have some teenager characters who venture into a storm drain? They're like, Oh, there's some kind of monster in here. People go missing. Oh, that's right. cool. And then they right. go in there. They discover Michael Myers. Michael Myers sees sunlight for the first time in four years and is like, like, hey, that's cool. And, you know, of course, it's a coincidence that it's Halloween night. Looks like it's October 31st, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, there's I, always going to be holes. I, see that I get that. But what I'm saying yes. is that, like, Cra- where's Craven? I-, I got tired of his stew talk, so I kicked him out. Oh, geez. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> like, when it, when it comes to uh, – but, th- but that's my problem is that, like, you're going to have, you're going to have to explain something because you established I think they've got a game plan for that. You established, I, I hope so. They don't yeah. have to explain it. everything though. That's right. Yes, thing. but you need well, to, you need it because they, they, they left it off as this town. Yes. They, they tried to kill Michael. It didn't work, but this yeah. town is still out. There's still all these people that are alive that want Michael mm-hmm. dead. All right. at all being led at the helm by Lori Strode. Lori is so obsessed, and they have established her as so obsessed. She's not just gonna let Michael walk away. She's right. not. She's not gonna. She's well, not gonna wait four years I, to either, go after Michael Myers. But what if? But what if, for whatever reason, you know, they can't find the body or something silly like that or whatever. But what if Lori? Because l- let me just pull this back up because she's looking pretty damn happy-go-lucky like what if like she finally like comes through a lot of this this obsession and and stuff like that you know for whatever reason whether she thinks he's dead or you know he's just been missing all these years whatever it may be they'll have to explain that but david gordon green they knew that they were going to have that time jump you know that's why like in the extended cut they changed the ending you know and, and and so forth so they must have some I would think at least half decent explanation of of what's happened in those four years. Because, I mean, think about it. That's the ultimate question. What's Michael been doing for four years? I think exactly. anyone would ask that question, like even a kid. So they've got to have at least some half decent, I would think better than that reason, you know, for what's been going on in those four years. What has Michael been doing? Where has he been? We know that the working title of the movie is Cave Dweller. So, you know... A, I mean, you can obviously think of some different scenarios, like you were saying, yeah. Jake. Maybe the sewers, maybe the a cave, maybe maybe there's someone else who's pretty nuts that's harboring are harboring him or something. I mean, 
I don't know if I'd want to go down that road, but I'm just saying there's got to be some type of ex explanation about where he is. Also, think about a kill scene in the sewer. I can't. I'm sorry, guys. I can't get off of <laughs> Michael Myers <laughs> even, like, biting into a rat in the sewer. Like it's just so the sewer train. He's Dude, obsessed with rat. Uh, that's all St Stu coming back in Scream Six? Nah, fam. Michael Myers in a sewer for Halloween ends, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get sewer it. Michael. That's your hashtag. Train. Hashtag oh, sewer train. train. Get on the that's train. Right. <laughs> No one would want to, like, if I tried to pitch that to people and I'm like, get on the sewer train, no one would want to do that. Yeah. They'd be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, oh, what the hell? Get away from me, Jake. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm kind of, oh, I'm scared. I'm uncomfortable. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know. I just oh, think, man. I just think that uh, there's a lot that needs to happen. And that, and that's why I don't want to just immediately praise this film as like, it's going to be fantastic because there's just. Oh, I still think it's going to be my least favorite of the trilogy. Really? So, so yeah. See, so you're not, so you're not that far removed from my thinking. I just, uh, I mean, he, my, that's my thing with trilogies, though. I never like the ending more than I like the journey. That's just my personal opinion. I like yeah, I, whenever something true, concludes, yeah. it's always like, damn, I want more, you know. And that's always like my least favorite. The only thing that breaks that rule for me personally is Return of the King and the Lord. Of the I Lord was gonna trilogy. say that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Return of the King is so oh, good. Man. Oh fuck. Yes. Those, I love those movies. So. I yeah. To to plug in my favorite show, Supernatural. At the end of season five, <laughs> uh, there's a there's a dialogue that if you haven't seen it, you guys should see it because it actually it's so true. Like it can't be true. They're basically there's the the writer, the the prophet guy is basically writing up like endings, and he's like endings are hard. You, you mm -hmm. never get it, anything right. There's always holes. People are always complaining about things mm -hmm. that don't make sense. And he has like this whole monologue, and it's actually really great because it's true. Like you never there's no such thing as a perfect ending you know there's right. always a hole or two or something that you can find to just complain about and uh mm -hmm. and i just and so yeah i i agree that i think that i think that this won't be a perfect ending does it have potential to be about as perfect as you can get with what's happening of course um but at the same time i just i just think that they they painted themselves into an unnecessary corner I think that they could have made this so much more easier and more fluid. And maybe that maybe that's the point. Maybe they wanted it to be challenging and they wanted to come up with some creativity and just do something so out of the box. Right. And, and, and I understand that. And if it hits, yeah. it hits. Great. I appreciate right. it. You know, I've always said I enjoy when people make take chances in film, even if I don't like it. I, like Halloween Kills, as much as I didn't like Halloween Kills, I respect them taking that chance. It just didn't yeah. hit for me. I just didn't like it. But I, I appreciate them, you know, taking that jump. And so I can see the same thing happening with Halloween Ends. But I just think, based on the first two films we got, there was such an easy transition that they could have done. And they went the complete opposite. And that's my concern. Well, let me compare this once again to the Lord of the Rings franchise. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm driving this so much. And Knight, I'm sorry. I'll let, I will let you go next because I, I feel like I'm talking a lot. But did you get – so I love the Lord of the Rings movies. I love all Absolutely. three of them. They are mm -hmm. all nearly flawless in my opinion. Yes. But then you go to the Hobbit trilogy. And yes. they're good movies. They're good. Mm -hmm. But you could have done that story in two movies easily like i think it's just not enough source material for them to span over three really long movies so that last film, trilogy <laughs> well oh. that's what i was gonna get at i'm saying if they did one night if this whole if all three movies span over just uh the halloween night in 2018 mm -hmm. it's gonna get like wow they spread this thin man so I think, honestly, the best move they could have went with to do a trilogy was to flash forward four years because now you got a fresh start with this new film, kind of. Like, you have things, like, all those things happened, but they affect mm -hmm. our characters four years later in a new story, kind of. Although it's also the concluding chapter yeah, of but this why trilogy. Not, why not do that between Halloween 18 and Kills? Because you then you have the... Then you have the tail end. I think it would have been much more fluid. You could have had 18. You had Michael. They wanted to finish the Laurie Strode story. That's why. Yes, but you still could have done that. Because Laurie still would have been hiding. She would have been in the wings. She would have been prepared. You, she could have got. She could have known Michael escaped. And she's just kind of waiting. They could have had Michael had a couple kills, do all this stuff, kind of get to a place to where he can, you know, cave dwell or sewer Michael or whatever. Sewer hop. That. <laughs> and then he comes out of hiding and just goes to town on the people of Haddonsfield, 
Halloween kills, and then Halloween ends picks up perfectly after that. I mean, you could have even just had a year gap between Halloween 18s and Halloween kills, and it would have been a much more fluid story. The problem mm -hmm. is you had Halloween 18 and Halloween kills all in one night, which is my big problem. Like I said, I don't think Halloween kills needed to be a movie. I think you could have just made two movies. But if they wanted to do the trilogy, I feel like personally they did this backwards. They should have had kills and ends all be one night, and 18 is the establishment film. 18 is the one that puts it all together. You have like a year or whatever, maybe six months, whatever the case may be, before Michael makes it to Haddonfield. You could have had, you know, a, a H2O thing where he's killing people on the way. Hi, Gary. Gary. And Hi, Gary. Gary. You know, you could have had that where, you know, he's killing people along the way on his journey to Haddonfield, all that stuff. Lori hears about Michael escape. She's getting prepared. She's all paranoid. You could have established and done the same exact thing more fluidly. Then you had Michael show up and kills, boom, and then that transitions into ends. Unless they've got a kick-ass idea for this I mean, maybe gap. they do. You know, maybe they do. You know, maybe they have like a great like th this could be a type of movie. And and it, to both of you guys' point, you know, they have tried to do some different things. Yeah. And I just and I know I've said this before, but I just want to say it again because going through the whole franchise, it was fun, but it was also it was a task. Because there were some sequels that were really rough. I'm looking at you, Resurrection. I'm looking at you, uh, Rob Zombie Halloween 2. But, <laughs> and Curse of Michael Myers. Yeah. But for all we know, you know, maybe in this one, it's a four-year gap. And Laurie Strode, I, I, I know I've said this before, and it may not happen. It probably won't happen. It's more of a wish, I guess. But what if Laurie Strode is depicted more like she was depicted in 78 Halloween? You know? Like... Obviously, she's not that age. I get that, but I'm just saying more of a of an optimistic type of character. I would love if she has to die. I would love to see her at least to some degree happy, you know. So maybe this four year jump is so that she can have some healing, so it can set up a little bit of weight, so that Jamie Lee can have some nice scenes, some nice dialogue, her natural charisma. She is the franchise. We know that. And this is her way, this is their way of saying, you know what, 50 years going on, thank you so much for being a part of this franchise so many mm -hmm. times, and we're going to give you a nice, meaty roll to end you out. You're going to die, but this is how we're, we're going to send you out like a champ. But in order to do that, we want you to have, you know, that range. You can't just be grumpy and and and, and obsessed with Michael because there's not a lot of wiggle room there. You know what I'm saying? So what if that's the reason for the time jump? Because... I just hate that though because they what they established. You know, because, if they if they hey, didn't night, establish... everything you just said, no. <laughs> Mate, you suck. <laughs> night. Well, Knight won't be here next week either. <laughs> it's just gonna be it's me. just gonna be fate decided. Like, just, on the I know. Like every week, next every week, week, one of us are getting like canceled. <laughs> it's just gonna. <laughs> Welcome to Fate Decided 2.0. I'm your host, Fate. Uh... <laughs> fate Collective. Welcome to Lethal <laughs> Decided. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, no. Here's the thing. I don't. I don't. I, I. I love the idea. If they didn't establish what they established already, you know, because they they built Lori up as this obsessed person and Michael right. could care less. And she is sort of the driving force for all of this. Mm -hmm. And then you had it set up and, and you kind of almost removed her from Halloween kills in most of the way. And, and, and for most of the film, she just right. had some dialogue here and there, which I understand she needed to recover, but mm -hmm. like, yeah. So now you have what, now you have her getting married. You have her just say, uh, it, you know, F it. You know, we already went through all this. I, I lost. And it's just, it's not her character right now. If they would have established it in that direction and then we got this, I could see it. If she, let's say Michael really was after her and she wasn't obsessed. And Michael mm -hmm. was, she, the, she was the driving force mm -hmm. and whatever. And and they ended up having a fight. Michael disappears. I could see Lori saying like, Maybe he's gone. Maybe that's it. And then you could have that establishment. But you centered your first two films around Lori just being overly obsessed with Michael to just say, we're going to fast forward four years and she doesn't feel that way anymore. Like, I just, uh, I, I well, feel like, well, I, feel well, like I, it's well, so backwards. Well, I, I wouldn't it's want her so to just, all, I, I, now, of course, I'm not thinking that 
you know, there's going to be four years later. She's like, yeah, life is good. I'm dancing and <laughs> exactly. singing and eating ice cream. It's you know, so married they, and stuff. They, they got they got to they got to do it the right way. Got an only fan. You know, something similar to like <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> something maybe similar to like what they did with um with Sydney in, in Scream Three. You know, just trying to deal with her trauma by helping other people out. I'm not saying that's what Laurie's going to do, but I'm saying written in a way where you see that she is recovering and i don't think she'll ever be like you know sunshine and rainbows but i think that there's definitely growth or i think there's growth for her to become more positive than she was in these first two movies like maybe maybe she realizes that her obsession has brought down so many bad things on her family and maybe she starts to rec to to process that i don't know i'm just yeah but even allison, fan even allison has been set up for this obsession now too. Exactly, and so yeah. now, what if the tables are turned? Because in 2018, Ooh. the grandmother was obsessed, and but Allison was, whoa, 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 and, and she said, grandmother, you've got to let the boogeyman go. Da, 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 da. Halloween kills, it's kind of like, okay, you know, everybody's trying to do oh, something. Halloween shit. ends, flip the table, and now Allison, is the one that's obsessed. She's the one that's training in the dojo and so forth. And Laurie Strode is like, I don't want to lose you like I lost Karen. You know, there's he's ascended, blah, 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 blah. If this happens, we're having a party and I get the credit. No, I'm just I'm just okay. joking. Uh, but I'm dude, just saying, that's you know? awesome. But I no, my, I love that honestly. But here's my, no, <laughs> that's fucking but sweet. Here's, here's my problem with that idea. It's dumb. No, I'm just joking. No, it, it, <laughs> that's I'm stupid. Use that as a no. Clip. no, no, no. It, it is a great idea. It is a great idea. But here's here's I'm my so issue mean. with it. Is that again? <laughs> is Lori really going to just let anyone excited for the collective movie? I know. But uh, the problem Thanks, is, Jake. is that <laughs> Knight's voice is like, he does. He has the greatest voice ever. Yes. That's the only reason yeah, I'm leaving him on, the, on this collective. <laughs> Jake's gone next week. <laughs> but, no, but, My voice oh, just isn't, as, isn't his, as smooth. His, Jake's voice sucks. <laughs> uh, so, God. God. But, I no. like your voice, Jake. I like your voice. <laughs> uh, we already, uh, you. unfortunately, you missed the Scream 6 talk. We had that uh, the first like 40 minutes. Uh, but yeah. I. I do, I do like the idea, but here's the problem: is mm -hmm. Allison's ob obsession, like she's yeah. she's gotten to this point. I don't see Lori just like I could see Lori being like like you said, like hey, I don't want to lose you, I don't want to this and that and this yeah. and that. But I don't think Allison is clearly becoming became more and more obsessed along the way. She has became Lori, and yes, Lori might yeah. see like this is what I became. This is what yeah. she, I, she turned into because of me. She's not gonna let right. Allison just go off on her own. Like no, if she no, can't no, convince no. her, then you know, and, and that's my thing. Allison's training; she, Lori's got to be the one to train her. So well, yes, she well, might be that'll saying, come, like, well, that, that might come in the story. Maybe that'll happen. You know, halfway through. I, I'm not talking about. Obviously, Lori has to battle Michael. That's got to happen. Yeah. So, in 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 order to do that, she's going to have to give give in to the dark side, you know? So she's gonna have to kind of travel back down that road that she was on in 2018 and kills. But what if- oh, Hang on, first... I'm really wet. Hang on, let me... God damn it. Sorry. Well, he, he got a little excited talking about Halloween. Yes. Quick, what if, <laughs> what if in the first half of the movie, you know, she's, she's, she's trying to be you know, whatever, less pessimistic in life. And and whatever that means, it doesn't mean that she's going to be singing songs, but just kind of starting to let go of a little bit of that. And maybe something happens or Allison, you know, they find out where Michael is and Allison's like, yes, yes, we got to get him. Evil's still going to die tonight, whatever, whatever. And somehow Lori gets dragged back into it, either by her own wanting to protect her granddaughter or whatever. I could definitely see that being plausible. I could also see that being the reason Lori dies early because she doesn't God, want Allison. They better not do it now. Yes, uh, because I'll... she doesn't want Allison to get involved. And Michael, let's say Michael comes out of hiding. What you think, Lori, I could see Lori saying like, I need to go take on Michael. And she goes to go take on Michael and Michael ends up killing her. And that's why Allison gets involved. I, I mean, seriously. Yeah, I like, mean, okay. If you like his idea, you have to take all sides of it. That is a very well, real I agree. See? Or do you think it's stupid, okay. like I said? Uh, okay. Jake, <laughs> face Jeez. like, 
<laughs> are you with him or are with you with me? <laughs> Make up your mind, Jake. <laughs> this is Who do you love more? Next Pick a love? parent. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That's horrible. I shouldn't be joking about that. But seriously, okay. Here's what I like about that, though. She hears Michael is out of hiding and like reawakens something inside of her. I don't yeah. think she just goes and gets murdered like immediately. We <laughs> we saw in Halloween 2018, Lori Laur- Strode finding out Michael Myers is running around head and field again, and she didn't just die immediately. She fights Michael in the third act. You know, I think the mm-hmm. same thing happens here, but it's way different this time around because Lori Strode yeah. has gone through therapy. It's a th- it's a theory right now. Not 100 percent sure. She does look like she's recovered though, not just physically but mentally from everything that's happened in the past like 40 some years or whatever. Yeah, but so, we're going uh, off of promo shots. Like they're not. Yeah, you're right. It's film. a theory. Yeah. It's just a theory. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that, that that that's my only concern. And you know, yeah. it can, we like, could be we could be totally wrong. That's I think the absolutely. most interesting thing about all this. She could still be same old Lori from the past couple movies. Yeah. I also think it would be a little more interesting though to see character development with her. That's the biggest yes. thing that I. Want want to see in this new film is like her going from that like super obsessive scary character not scary but like super scared of the world and being paranoid being a uh, uh, recluse and sheltered and all that yeah. and then she goes to a totally different character by the end of this trilogy i even was talking about how i think she's going to be like a christ figure which what that means in literature i keep explaining this every single time we live stream but like it's really interesting to me and if i just say that (laughs) christ figure think people think i'm talking about jesus no in literature (laughs) that means someone who has a rise a fall and a comeback and i think this movie is going to be the laurie strode comeback where she ultimately takes down michael myers for the first time now you can't have a comeback without some kind of insight there's an einstein quote about you without persistence without uh insight Insight is just going to result in the same exact thing or whatever. I, I'm paraphrasing, right. mm-hmm. but I think that's what's happening here is she has had this time to recover and has had this time to be a little more calm and collected. And then she goes and takes down Michael finally for the first time in all these damn movies. <laughs> Michael dies. <laughs> I want it to happen. Evil dies tonight. Evil <laughs> dies in four more years. <laughs> Evil dies tonight. <laughs> <Again>. <laughs> 